that went to Zaria. And there is even a letter to that effect informing them that we are coming. And we are coming this time around specifically on the issue of the helicopters. Therein, we are provided with all the technical details of these helicopters. Technical details. As of then, one of the helicopters just clocked 42 hours, another one 46 hours thereabout. And this helicopter, for it to have a turnaround maintenance, must clock about 10,000 hours. So we know what we are talking about. I'm pain because as a result of this, a lot of people have died. Nigerians have died. Soldiers have died who are desirous of having these helicopters. And we even told them, they even provided to us the maintenance they've done thus far. One was about 500 and thousand, uh, something thousand, another one was about 500 and something thousand. And we told them, okay, since this is a government property, and it's another government establishment that is interested, because the argument they were giving for auctioning it was because it was not uh, being put into use. Now a government uh, institution have come over to say, okay, we want it. Something as very important as that. No proof. Not documented. They are just telling us that an auction took place, this, this, this. You can't even remember who the people, you can't even remember your own constituents. Federal Ministry of Aviation, you can't even remember who came. Something is wrong. As Very far as I'm wrong. concerned, most likely it was just a charade. You said the auction of the two helicopters was conducted successfully on the 24th of May for a sum of $1.2 million only. See attached evidence. Even though you did not put that here, but in your internal memo, you admitted that you collected $1.2 million for the helicopters. Can you see it? I don't know. Should, should they come and show you? No, no, no. no. You have seen it? Yes. Hey, hey. So you concluded this transaction in May. You collected the dollars in May. The same May that they did advert in the newspaper. Hmm. No, the, the auction was done in May. And we are saying the same thing. Yes, but payments, you did your pay, pay, in May. payments were not done in May. Your letter says payments. This, this is an internal memo from procurement seeking approval to pay commission. No, that's not yes, what I'm saying. Yes, that is, that is the memo that you are referring to. Yes. yes, seeking approval. That means before you can ask for approval to pay commission, that means payment must have been made. Yes. That's what I'm saying now. No, please. Received, I, you have received the dollars. The, let's look at this memo was dated 15th of June. That's after. Eh? Answer the question that I asked. Answer my question. Sorry, sorry, so, Honorable Chairman. Yes. As far as the document, the equivalent in Naira at the prevailing exchange rate were what was paid to the college accounts, which were remitted to CRF. So who collected the dollars? Dollars. So why did they say they sold it for $1.2 million? Because that is what it was auctioned for. $1.2 million. So? Payments at prevailing exchange rate. It is our decision that the Ministry of Aviation will take steps to recover those helicopters as soon as possible and report back to the house. But from here, because the head of quality assurance lied on oath right inside the chambers and the auctioneer presented fake documents to us. The sergeant at arm shall take them to our police post. Their statements will be taken and the investigation should start from there.
Asuru.